Hey, what's up guys? So, we're looking at Final Cut Pro on the iPad today, and I'm actually recording this video off of the uh, forward-facing camera from the iPad into Final Cut Pro. So, so far, I'm really liking it. The interface is nice and clean. Um, it's got a really cool functionality with... Uh, it has a wheel on the side that you can uh, scroll through. It's a software-based wheel. And you can move that to either side of the screen. It's really neat. Um, the interface is clean. Like, it's a lot cleaner than LumaFusion for sure. Um, I It looks a lot like DaVinci. But, in the color, I haven't really messed around with the color too much. Um... I'm trying to color correct I'm just trying to learn the interface and kind of ins and outs and that kind of thing of of the uh, software I don't know what I'm what I'm still kind of confused on is like some of the transitions I couldn't change the uh, duration and I don't know if that's just because I'm a dummy and I can't figure it out right now but if it if, if I figure it out I'll I'll put it out short or another video on you know how to do that but yeah, so far I'm really liking it. It is $5 a month or $50 a year if you want to pay for it. I'm going off of the 30-day uh, trial still. I don't know if I don't know if I will pay for it. Like I kind of I, I really hate subscription models if I can get away with it, right? Like some of my Adobe stuff like that's all you can do. I like Photoshop, I like Lightroom. So the only way I can get it is with the subscription. But $5 a month isn't bad, and you can turn it on and turn it off, you know, as you need it, that kind of thing. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can create doing this. It seems to have uh, more features than DaVinci, at least the free version of DaVinci. I don't know about the paid version. I haven't spent the $90 um, or $80 or however much it is to uh, fully unlock uh, DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, but so far I'm liking it. I hope you guys are too. I'm going to continue to play around with it. I just wanted to kind of get my initial thoughts out. I like the inner, so basically like the interface, like the design, like the features. Um, some of it is not um, what I expected, but probably a little bit better. It is a little bit better than what I expected. The experience of editing in Final Cut Pro on the iPad does seem to be a little bit better than trying to edit in um, some of the other applications. Is It and DaVinci are still going to be very, very close, in my opinion. Luma, which is still very good. I don't know. These, these two applications kind of, in my humble opinion, are way better. Um, you just kind of have to pick which one you want to go with. On my Windows machine over here, I edit on in DaVinci Resolve. On the iPad, I think I might stick to the Final Cut and, and pay for it. I need, I need to play around a little bit more. But that's my initial kind of thoughts is that we're going to stay over here so on, on the Final Cut. So anyways, I hope you guys find this helpful. I know it's a little short video. Uh, I'm going to continue to play around with this, and I'll see... See you guys in the next one. Peace out.